Season 11 has been documenting the fallout from Scandoval, with cameras picking up roughly three months after the scandal broke. The season began with Ariana Maddox alone in her home, while Tom Sandoval was away in New Zealand, filming Special Forces, World's Toughest Test. As soon as he returned to their shared home, the perspective took a shift. With a shockingly rapid pace, the Sandoval Redemption Tour took over, with production working overtime to make him seem sympathetic despite his unrepentant anger towards the people he owes apologies to. Sandoval's behavior now poses a significant problem on Vanderpump Rules in Season 11. Tom's rage towards Ariana and the boundaries she has kept in place since their relationship ended has been receiving less and less criticism within the group as the season progresses. Instead, one by one, it appears the cast are each accepting that in order for production to move forward, Sandoval will need to be accommodated. It is very difficult to keep the premise alive that Vanderpump Rules follows a group of friends navigating their lives in LA if no one in the group wants to socialize with each other. Ariana and Sandoval have yet to be in each other's presence without conflict. Katie has reason to keep her ex-husband Tom Schwartz at arm's length after the fallout from their very public divorce featured last season. Lala Kent and Skeena Shea initially showed Ariana support in her new boundaries. However, as the season has progressed and producers have struggled to find innovative ways to reintegrate Sandoval into filming with Ariana still being present, the cast has gradually been shifting their positions. There is, however, one person working overtime to prove he has not really earned redemption yet, and that is Sandoval himself. Sandoval is comfortable placing blame on Ariana and his friends for his situation, rather than critiquing his own choices that put him there and learning to change his behavior. Tom Sandoval's apology tour gets off to a rough start on Vanderpump Rules Season 11. In the second episode, Schwartz tries to have Tom take some accountability for not helping their bar navigate the fallout from Scandoval. Sandoval breezed past the opportunity to apologize, and instead launched into telling Schwartz about how difficult the fallout from the scandal has been for him personally and financially. He angrily blamed his financial troubles on Ariana, saying that she hadn't been paying the bills. Could Ariana make both their lives easier and simply agree to pay what Sandoval claims to be owed without lawyers involved? Sure. But Sandoval's angry use of his financial struggles as a justification for his need to tour with his band shows what little thought he had put into his living situation before cheating on the co-owner of his home. To say nothing of the thoughtlessness towards Ariana's emotional well-being, or the effect his actions would have on his image as a business owner. Sandoval's resistance to accepting responsibility for the trouble that he has caused in the group has dragged out the process as he struggles to make an apology tour this season. Similarly, on the cast trip to Lake Tahoe, DJ James Kennedy confronted Sandoval about having a relationship with his ex-fiancée, Rachel Raquel Levis. Sandoval attempted to justify the affair because he needed to end the relationship with Ariana. But he also confusingly claims that he couldn't end the relationship in a way that wouldn't be catastrophic. James rightly points out that he could have simply ended the relationship rather than choosing to deceive and betray not only Ariana, but others in the group, like himself. Sandoval then used the life he had built with Ariana as an excuse for not leaving the relationship. Sandoval's refusal to admit that he should have treated Ariana with respect in this scenario by ending their relationship before moving on to another one is symptomatic of his struggle to make progress in his apology tour for much of the first half of the season. In a confessional, Skeena's husband, Brock Davies, calls out Sandoval's habit of placing blame on others, if I'm looking at Tom right now, and we have a percentage of accountability and then blame, he's probably like a 10% accountability and a solid 90% blaming everybody else for his issues.